Coach RJ of www.fitclub.fit, and today I want to talk to you why you lost so much weight on your first month when you first started dieting and working out. Now, time and time again, I've seen this with many of our new members when they first join. They jump on their scale with day one, and they jump on the scale versus day 30, and they notice that they've lost a lot of weight into their first week, but as time goes on throughout the month, they might have actually gained weight. And so what happens is we all freak out, whether it's a member that's been with us for 10 years or whether it's somebody that is brand new, anytime we see the scale moving in the wrong direction that we believe it should be moving in the right direction, we get upset and sometimes people get deterred. So in today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you why you could have gained weight whether you're just starting off or this also applies to our long-term members. So the first is that you could have seen a decrease in the carbohydrates that you're eating and any time that you decrease the amount of carbs that you're eating, you're actually gonna see less stored water, okay? Now you would think, okay, this is good for me because I wanna cut carbs completely out so that I can lose as much weight as possible. Now we gotta ask ourselves: is that sustainable? To remove a macro or a key element of any types of foods that we eat, it's impossible for us to completely cut something out. Unless it was something that you were highly allergic to and it was going to kill you, but if it just comes down for us to gain a little bit of weight, retain a little bit of water, I highly doubt that we're gonna cut carbs forever. And so what ends up happening when we completely eliminate something is that we think about it, we fester about it. And that one opportunity, whether it's you stay strong right until Christmas, then all of a sudden the pierogies come out or the desserts come out and you have one and it just makes you completely go off the rails and next thing you know, you're eating carbs for the rest of the month and you're like, January 1st, I'm starting over. Or whether you cut carbs on a Monday because you're like, I ate terrible on the weekend and I'm gonna completely cut out carbs or even worse, I'm gonna do a 24 hour fast because I need to cut out all the carbs and all the calories that I ate on the weekend. What ends up happening is we last for one day, the strong ones will last for one full day, do their fast or completely cut out the carbs and then the next day they'll get back to regular eating and by Thursday they think this sucks. And so what ends up happening by the weekend, they eat terrible. And so when we start off in an exercise routine or a belly burn for our long-term members, we naturally think that we should be decreasing carbs, but little do we know that carbs are the main fuel for our workouts. And so if we cut out carbs completely, we're not gonna have that fast acting fuel for you to be able to lift more. And as we know, the more muscle that you have, the more calories that you can consume, but also the more calories that you're going to burn. So when it comes to tracking your weight loss and when it comes to success, we have to understand that the nutrition that we consume can and will influence how that scale looks. So over the course of your first 30 days or even the course of your first 30 years, we have to make sure that we're looking at the scale over a long-term process versus just short-term. Because if we decrease our carbohydrates, then we decrease the amount of stored water so we could have weight loss success and we're gonna be happy and we keep going. But if one day we eat an extreme amount of carbohydrates, and honestly, it doesn't take that much. It's literally like three pieces of pizza and a dessert. That carbohydrates will increase the amount of water that you're retaining and what ends up happening is you're gonna be unhappy when you jump on the scale. So the food that you eat can and will so the food that you eat can and will influence your weight loss success. So don't let one bad meal turn your day into a bad day. Now, if you're looking for somebody to coach you through all of this so that you don't freak out when you jump on the scale and you're up two pounds over the weekend, then if you're a non-member, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the five days for five bucks. Now, if you're a member, we all have bad days like this. Doesn't matter if we've been doing this for two months or two years, we all still have those little mini freak out moments. And that's where a great coach is gonna be by your side, tell you to chill out, create a solution, develop a process, and that all happens when you mention the belly burn.